Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to remove multiple values from a vector in the R programming language. So in the video I will show you an example and this example is based on the vector that we can create in line 3 of the code. So if you run this line of code you will see that a new vector object is appearing at the top right of RStudio and we can also have a look at this vector object by running line 4 of the code and then you can see that our vector consists of several letters with a range from the letter A to the letter D. Now let's assume that we want to remove all the letters A and C from this vector. Then we can apply the code as you can see in line 6. So in this code we are specifying that we want to take a subset of our vector and we are specifying that by applying the in operator. So here in this part of the code we are telling R that we want to know which of our values are equal to A or equal to C. And then we are telling R by specifying this bang sign in front of the code that we want to remove all the letters that are equal to these two values. So if you run this line of code you will see that a new vector object is appearing at the top right of RStudio which is called a vec new and we can also print this object to the RStudio console by running line 7 of the code and then you can see that a new vector is returned which is only consisting of the values b and d or in other words all the letters a and c were removed from our vector object. Yeah, so this is basically how to remove multiple values from a vector in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future whenever I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.